Aquarius, welcome to the beautiful downtown urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> Jungle studio. Uh, doing the singles read. I'm calling it now tarot story time. I'm going to use eight cards and try to tell the story of your uh, love life um, for December. And I just found that if I kind of focus on you, kind of get an idea where you are, kind of get with the flow of you, uh, by the last two cards here in this eight card read i'm going to see the person that's coming in or at least the near future I mean, sometimes there isn't a person but if there is we'll see if we can't get a bead on them so bear with me i like to just lay this one out and um, then i'll show you the card as we go along um, temperance the hermit Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, that's interesting, and the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. So, and usually, I'm worry about the bottom of the deck with this read. And here, I kind of, as I did uh, with the Meet the Soulmate read, which I may still do, uh, this is the last reading for December, the month. So next week's read, um, you know, I may go back to meet this soulmate. I don't really know. I'm thinking about it. It'll be tomorrow because I know I'm late with your reading. Sorry, I normally get up Aquarius and Pisces on Saturday, so I try to have a strict reading schedule, but just couldn't get it yesterday. Um, but this one, I'll try to catch a story with you. Usually, uh, the story's going to pick up at a certain place in your life like maybe it starts last year maybe it starts when you're a teenager um i think what i see here this is really where you're at still in terms of love relationship also see emotions here next we see the intellect and the sun energy and here i see love and relationships and you know you're Last four cards, not really an outcome in this reading. This is just speaking to your core values and lifestyle issues. And um, this will usually show what's coming to you. And guys, uh, right off the bat, um, you've got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. I mean, I, I'm telling you, you're going to have two people, an air sign and a fire sign. And they're going to be coming at you, right? Um, coming right at you. So uh, we'll I leap ahead, but here I see you in the past, um, trying to get a feel for when this might have done or been. This might have been like ten years ago or something, if you know what was going on, or twelve years ago. There's kind of the cycle of the nodes, and now we're in uh, about to switch into Taurus and uh, Venus, the Western. I follow. Uh, but boy, it's been really significant for me as a Sag, you know, going through my south node and activating my 10th house. Um, so you may have been in this energy um, for a while, I'm getting. Um, and you weren't like, you're not, you weren't unhappy with this. This is temperance, a Sag card, but, you know, it's about being okay with where you're at, feeling kind of things are balanced, things are flowing, you don't really have any problems, you don't have any worries. And with the Hermit, when you add to that, it would have been time when you were turning inward and working on yourself. And maybe you might have even been single during this period, okay, of time. Um, and then with the Wheel of Fortune, this is Aquarius. And uh, it was a very interesting Wheel of Fortune. And the, I'll show these together instead of one on the other. I can see them better in the Page of Cups. Um, something happened, and I think what happened, it speaks in the next row, this is more about the love and um, Mars and Venus energy I see here, love and relationship energy, sex too, romance, and I think what we see here um, is something really happened, it was outside of your control, and you were kind of doing your own thing maybe you know it's that advice they always give hey if you just do your own thing and don't look that's when the right one comes 
but I kind of get that. I'm not sure. I'm like, I'm, I certainly haven't followed that advice, but um, I'm not sure that's true. But I kind of think that's what happened. You know, you were kind of doing your own thing. And this could have been like 10 years ago to 8 years ago, something like this. And it just something. Now, what is the Wheel of Fortune? It's something kind of whimsical. Someone was fired and then a new person hired was your person. Or uh, you literally ran into them, like had an accident with them and she, you know. Uh, it's not the energy of just meeting across, a, eyes locking across a bar. It would have been like something happened that you probably thought was bad or difficult or pain that sort of led you into this water sign and do think sun, moon, rising, and Venus energy personality um, that was probably younger than you, being that it's a page, but you still may be young at this point too, but I just get the feeling like they may be a little bit younger than you. Um, and I think they would have presented themselves as a water energy. If you look here, the the the, um, the, the page of cups is looking at this hermit. And it's like you may have still been in a place where you didn't look at this hermit. It doesn't really look interested in anyone. You may have been in a place where you kind of wanted to be left alone. You were okay with that. Temperance, you go along, it's cool. Why well, rock the boat? And then this person got to you. And it was emotionally, it really connected you with emotionally. It, it to me, uh, the John Prine song comes to mind where he says, you know, uh, and someone finally said to you, hello in there. <laughs> he does it much better. It's so profound, you know. It's like that, that where, you know, you're uh, someone kind of just really just speaks to you almost as if suddenly you feel Oh my God, someone sees me in here? Like you thought you were invisible. And you're kind of okay with being invisible. But, you know, this person came in. Now, with this Wheel of Fortune, it might speak to Jupiter. It does rule Jupiter. So at that time, if an astrologer is ready to <laughs> let me know, he will want to spend a dime. I bet you go back and look at your Jupiter transit, it would have been significant. And it had probably been when it was going direct after the retrograde at whatever time. And this is what you can look at it by aspect how sign it's in at the time. And, and see maybe how what was going on. Because this is karmic, you know. This is like the universe is like basically sending you this person to um, get you out of your cave here. Virgo Hermit Energy. And... Um, this person has um, an uh, earth sign, Venus uh, ener energy about them that's very solid. So Taurus, Capricorn, really, even Virgo, any of those really are very solid. And it's probably solidly placed, like harmoniously placed. It's in, a, uh, it's in the seventh house. It's in the second house. Second house feels really good. They feel like they maybe got some second house energies. Taurus come into mind. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but Venus here is Taurus, but could even be like an Earth sign personality, maybe a Taurus. I'm just getting that a lot. Um, they're really grounded. That's how they get to you. Um, they're, they're grounded, they're solid, they're in, they're emotional, and so when they bring you their emotions, um, it's in a very um, non-threatening way, like non-judgmental, um, a very supportive way, you know. Uh, non-threatening, too, I think comes to mind the most. Um, but this person, it, I don't know how long this went on. It could. I got the feeling like this might be the last relationship that you were in. This could be some amalgamation of a few relationships, but it's a singles reading. So if you're single, um, you became disillusioned with the person. And I think that would have been really hard. It's kind of a tough card to look at, you know. This is the uh, Klimt art deck, you know, erotic art deck. Um, but it would have been a process, I think, of maybe seven years. Could be um, time. Um, 
where you set your you had to kind of set yourself free because emotionally like you weren't connecting this might have been the original uh, why you're in this energy here is kind of emotionally not connecting the hermits really literally emotionally not connecting except for with themselves you know well, what I see coming in in the future, and we're in this energy now with the December 4 eclipse. It, you know, there's plenty written about it. There's plenty of wonderful astrologers on YouTube talking about it. But it's, it's, it's a big deal. You know, it, it really is. And it'll affect your personal life by the placements of these energies in your natal chart. You know, by aspect, sign, and house. Or maybe house first. So, um something's going on in terms of a change you know and i feel like as you let this last relationship go with the seven of cups um it was a i get kind of pisces energy it was probably really difficult and uh, kind of slow and you might have had a really hard time sort of uh, getting a grip on what exactly happened that made it go bad you know i don't think there was any one thing that you could point out and say well it was just this kind of growing apart in um, you know with the seven of cups too um, it can be this dreamy energy and having options and I think you're faced right now I have to clarify uh, this real for you guys because you have an air sign you have a fire sign I believe it like that coming into you uh, my impression when I first looked at it because this one's coming straight on and this one's coming in kind of sideways. It's like, I think this will be helpful, I hope, is the uh, the air sign, uh, I'm not saying they're lying or anything, but they're not really coming in completely straight to you. So in some way what they're saying, while it probably sounds good, uh, I think if you kind of analyze it like in a Virgo way um, in detail, um, and take out the romance of it you might see that there's something about some kind of discrepancy or something um, and also I think the way they come into you is more cerebral cerebral um, so uh, like you're they're in a group talking about astrology and they're gonna make comment that's really um, you know insightful and uh, you kind of like makes you interested so I just want to clarify uh, so now you're this fire sign I think this is someone you're going to meet physically and they're definitely the energy with them the difference is again cerebral when you meet the air sign person it's not going to be like any kind of really sexually charged energy this might literally be someone saying and somehow it works for you or you saying and it works for them something kind of sexual something overt um, a real chemistry with you guys quick quick just boom this is a uh, this could be meeting this other one was not meeting I said something came in for you with this wheel of fortune and that Jupiter uh, but this could definitely be that meeting of just eyes locking and having that kind of um, you know connection that you feel kind of viscerally inside of you that's some kind of uh, you know uh, sexual energy strong uh, dynamic chemistry and you have the eight of swords yeah you're gonna be all in your head about this that's what that is it's not gonna be an easy decision for you and transformation well wow. transformation uh, and so I think this is gonna be some time I'm not sure about the future I think this is gonna come in kind of together and I think this is in the future. My guess is Comet. You haven't seen these people yet. Right? Um, but you're going to be really drawn to the mental one anyway. And it's really going to kind of split you in half. You know, air to fire, heart to mind, heart to mind. And heart is you're going to more, you know. Um, and you're going to have to, what's going to have to change is you. I think what you're going to realize out of dealing with them is start to realize kind of whatever was happened with the other person and there has to be some kind of inner transformation for you really to meet these people you know Aquarius it's like it's not really about like making a choice it's not like what's that show here 
reality show, you know, pick a wife or the favorite bachelor or something. You know, it's really about getting in tune with yourself uh, here and still kind of resolving the Seven of Cups because, you know, that's kind of unresolved emotions, not being kind of fuzzy, being not certain. If you have a Seven of Cups, you I mean you could have seven people and it's not really good because you, you get so confused. It also be emotional confusion. I need a final outcome here, the Spirit. Three of Wands. Hmm. Now, Three of Wands. So, it's your final outcome after death. It certainly says that after death, then, this is where you're going to get uh, your ships coming in. And it also shows you taking action. I like this because it also kind of, it c comes with this. It shows you taking control and taking action. And I bet you right now, you're. It, tell me this isn't true. You're not really ready to take action right now and control. It was a little bit, you come in with this temperance and hermit and you, you kind of have this. Maybe you're just not uh, someone who likes to uh, be, a, you know, a, aggressive or something in a relationship. And that's fine. But that's what's going to happen is you're going to start taking more active control over this. And um, it's almost, I get the energy of like, it'll be less like they're coming in or they're happening. It, it's like to you it, with the Seven of Cups, it's like these experiences are happening to me. Uh, this, this man, this woman is happening to me. Like there's a, not a sense of control. It might run really deep. It's just like, uh, of course it's happening to me, uh, you know. Um, and this is you taking control with the Three of Wands and making your own decisions as to what to do, basically. And But you are looking for love here. And this is the inner energy from which you may well discern which one you want. Or there could even be another. But also, I do point out she has that magnifying glass. This is the Klimt Dark deck. So it also implies you uh, taking a good look. But my feeling is it has to come after death. Because if you were to look right now, you're in this Eight of Swords energy, and you're not in a good headspace to make this decision. You're not going to be able to look at things in depth. You're not going to be able to take action in your own behalf. It's just very positive, Three of Wands, very positive energy. You know, very positive forward movement and action. And I think here it implies, too, after some consideration. So it really could then become like a choice between this air and fire sign for you. But you'll be approaching it uh, very much from the point of view of what it is that, what is I, what do I want? And you'll take more act, active control over it. Be more assertive, I guess what I'm trying to say. Like you're going to find yourself being more assertive. Maybe as soon as after this uh, December 4th and into this month, a lot of this happens, guys. So let me know what you think. And do uh, give me a like and a thumbs up and all that. If you can think of anywhere to share this, if you ride and you resonate, help me out. Appreciate it. Do subscribe. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys.